In this video, I'm going to show you how you can edit your raw files using Topaz Photo AI in a standalone workflow. In other words, you are not accessing Topaz Photo AI from a host application like Adobe Lightroom Classic or Adobe Photoshop, but from Topaz Photo AI directly. So the first thing you'll want to do is launch the application, which I did here. And from here, there are a few ways that you can open your raw file. The first is you can go to file and then select open. The other is you can click here and browse images, which will bring up a file explorer. And the third way is you can just navigate to the raw file and just drag it into the app itself. Now, one of the hallmark features of Topaz Photo AI is the autopilot. And you can see that on the top right. What happens is Photo AI is automatically going to analyze your image and it's going to detect any issues automatically, as well as apply fixes or corrective actions to take care of those issues without you having to do anything. You can see that it has identified that it is working with a uh, raw image. And so it's using raw image data. It also detected the subject, which I'll show you in a second. It, and it identified that there was a lot of noise in the photo and it applied the appropriate type of AI model and settings to mitigate that noise. And you can see here in our split screen view, this is the original. Now look what happens as we swipe over all of that noise is gone and we retain all of the detail and information. Now I mentioned that uh, it detected a subject. If we go to the fit view here, you can see here, if I hover over the subject, it automatically applies a mask to what it identifies as the primary subject. Now, why might you want that? Well, let's say we zoom in again. And let's just say we want a little bit more detail, some more sharpening. You can overwrite or change any of the settings that autopilot has suggested. So in this case here, I'm going to enable sharpen and I'm going to go ahead and drop the strength. And the other thing that I want to do is apply sharpening only to the subject. So I'm going to turn this switch on. Now, when we zoom out a little bit, you can see here that we have sharpening applied only to the subject. And so all that noise is removed and the subject has some really nice, sharp details. If you ever want to return back to the autopilot settings, just click on this button right over here and that will return you back. Now that we're done with this photo, all I need to do is click on the blue save image button. Let's start with the queue. You'll see any file that you're about to save in this queue and you'll see the file name as well as the source format and the outbound format and the resolution of that file. You also have options along the right under the export settings column. The first is the prefix. You can put anything you want here to apply to the beginning of the file name. So let's say you want to call this my photo. Every photo that you now save will start with my underscore photo. The suffix is whatever you want to apply to the end of the file name. So if you want to indicate that uh, this is, for example, saved with Topaz, you can do that, or you can say uh, photo AI, uh, and that'll take care of that. You also have the option to apply the filters that you used to the file name. So in this case here, we use the denoise raw model as well as sharpen, uh, and that'll just help you identify uh, what was used uh, to edit the file. Of course, if you don't want that, you can disable that switch. You can also specify where you want to save the file. By default, it'll save to the location of the original file. In this case, it was my desktop. And then you can also change the file format. Uh, when you open a raw file, the default format will be DNG, which I highly recommend keeping. But of course, if you want to save it as a JPEG, a PNG, or a TIFF, you can. And when you're done, just click on save to save the file to your desktop. Now on the desktop, you can see the original raw file and the DNG file that we just created. And that's how easy it is to edit your raw files using Topaz Photo AI in a standalone workflow. To learn more about Topaz Photo AI, head over to topazlabs.com. Thanks a lot.